Hey, I'm coming at you with another book video. I've read the world's of incredible books lately and figured I'm going to share with you the next batch, so to speak. Let's get into it. The first one that I want to share with you today is Living Free, Simple and Happy. How to simplify, declutter your home and reduce stress, depth and waste. This was a really, really interesting read. It's about minimalism, it's about decluttering, it's about reducing your debt, it's about living more mindful. She's also touching on making things yourself, repairing things yourself, as well as picking things from the garbage. And she is a huge advocate on thrift shopping, which I absolutely love. If you are interested in minimalism, if you are interested in mindful living, then this is your book. The next book is called So Much I Want to Tell You. Now, this is a book by Anna Canna. She's on YouTube and she has a very popular YouTube channel with a huge following. She makes comedy videos and her younger sister committed suicide. And this book is directed at her sister. It's advice that she would give her sister, who is no longer alive. I found it incredibly touching. I really enjoyed the advice and I really like her writing style. If you are familiar with her videos and haven't read the book yet, then definitely check it out. The next book is called Awaken You. Ikigai, which I've probably just butchered. That aside, how do Japanese wake up to joy and purpose every day? Ikigai is a Japanese phenomenon that's commonly understood as the reason that you get up. An Ikigai can be anything from having a really delicious cup of coffee to enjoying the sunrise to reading an incredibly good book. And the author introduces five pillars that can simply help you to enjoy your day-to-day -day existence a lot more and to make the most of each and every day. I really enjoyed the writing and if you are into, again, minimalism and mindful living, then this book is definitely for you. The next one is, it's not you, it's the dishes. This one really took me by surprise. It's in essence a book about economic theories and practices and how they can be applied to relationships. They primarily focused on romantic relationships. However, I do think that the principles discussed in the book are also definitely applicable to non-romantic relationships. I really enjoy reading books about relationships and how you can dive in a little deeper and how you can form a deeper and better connection. And if that's something that you tend to read or if that's something that sounds like it could be for you, then I highly recommend it. It's a great book, it's very well structured and it's also a fairly easy read. And the authors broke down the concepts and theories really, really well. And every chapter also includes loads and loads of examples on how those economic theories can be applied to relationships. This book, uh, it's incredible. I read the first couple pages and it just sucked me in. I just had to finish it within a couple days and I woke up started reading it and before I went to bed, I read it. Andy, the author, interviewed people living in rural Japan. Most of them are fairly close to the mountains. A lot of them are living in the mountains. Some of them are further from the city than others. Most of them are 100% self-sufficient, meaning they are not reliant on supermarkets or markets for their food. 
they cut their own firewood, you get the idea. I found it absolutely incredible. The book also contains lots of pictures of the people that he interviewed. He showed their artwork. He showed lots of really interesting aspects that he mentioned in the book, also in photos. And the photos are absolutely incredible. If you're interested in sustainability, in living on your own land and living in the mountains, or if you're interested in living in rural Japan, then this is definitely the book for you. And the last one for today's video is New Minimalism. I think the title says it all. It's a book about minimalism, decluttering, and on how you can make the most of your space. The book is filled with absolutely stunning photos. What I found neat is that they defined different personas, and I definitely fit into the frugal category. If you read the book, you will see which category, which persona you best fit into. I found that aspect of the book really neat. And they also provide lots of resources at the end of the book that you can check out. Overall, an incredible read. It's a fairly short book, it's not too long. And if you happen to be new to minimalism, then I think this book is a great starting point. However, if you're on the journey, or if you are a full-blown minimalist, then I'm sure you will find something, something of interest and something new in this book. That was it for today's recommendations. As always, I would love to hear your recommendations. I'm always on the hunt for new and interesting books. So if there is a book that you would like to recommend, then please feel free to leave it in the comments. That way, everyone watching this video can also see your recommendations. And it's just a flow of lovely recommendations and great books. Have a lovely day and see you guys next time.